But now, kids, it is time for the sermon in a box. And so I'm going to invite you to join me up front. And Junia has brought the box this morning. And we're going to let our special guest also do the sermon in the box this morning. Just two weeks ago, Tammy and I were at the home of a church planter in St. Petersburg, Florida. Justin and Angie Woodall, they had uh, stopped here to worship as they were traveling between Michigan and uh, at the time they lived in South Carolina. Actually, he was an assistant pastor at the church that Abby Ross's dad had planted in Myrtle Beach. Um, and, uh, and he stopped he stopped here to worship and saw this thing. It's called the Sermon in the Box. Well, when he started, um, uh, pardon? City church. City church in St. Pete, he does it as well. So what do we have in here? We have a box inside of a box sounding like an inception movie but actually it's milk it's a carton of almond vanilla unsweetened from friendly farms as opposed to unfriendly farms 30 calories per cup almond milk yeah, that's what I say. I want milk that comes from a moo, not a what? <laughs> yeah, you get it? Because cow, cows give us milk, but I guess we can extract milk from almonds. But they're in the bite. Yeah, you thought that was funny too, didn't you, Tommy? Thank you for laughing at my joke. Appreciate it, pal. You've been laughing at my jokes for 25 years. You're very kind to me. Hey, I'll tell you what, in the Bible, there is a place that God said and promised for his people. It was going to be so wonderful that it was a place flowing with milk and honey. Uh-huh, you've heard of this, haven't you? This was the promised land that the people, uh, the Hebrew people coming out of Egypt, where they were enslaved for, for hundreds of years, and they traveled through the wilderness. Do you remember this? And they were going to move across the Jordan River into the land that was flowing with milk and honey. I don't know if it was goat's milk, or if it was cow milk, or if it was almond milk, because they had almonds back then too. So whatever kind of milk and honey it was, it meant that you didn't have to just drink water. And honey was sweet and it was good. So this was a, plan, a place of abundance. It was a place of blessing. It was a place that, that you could get f good food and the people would be nourished and it would be a great place to live. And, and so, yes, you have a question. Tell me, what's your question? Or come. Milk. Would you like a drink? It looks, it looks like water to me. I don't even want to try it because I like mood juice. <laughs> It's almond milk. But God has a place for us that's flowing with, with milk and honey. It's not a place here on this earth, or it will be the earth we created, but that's heaven for us, right? It will be a place that is sweet, that is nourishing. It is a place where we can live and celebrate and feast forever and ever. And that will be eventually when Jesus um, comes and he recreates this broken world as he redeems it, as he's redeemed us. We can go to be with him in that land and in his presence flowing with milk and, excuse me, almond vanilla. Manila from Friendly Farms, milk and honey. All right, thanks, kids. Do I need to give this?